Hey, what's up? I'm Pete Thorne. I'm here at uh, NAMM 2014 and uh, checking out Capo Software, Super Mega Ultra Groovy is the company. And uh, it's fantastic. It's a great tool for learning uh, how to play songs and, uh, and to jam along. I'm a guitar player, so I use it in a specific guitar capacity to learn guitar solos and difficult uh, uh, phrases and sections. You can slow down stuff. You can loop sections. It's just a really, really great tool for learning. So it's fantastic. I always like to learn things in little bite-sized chunks of music, you know, and that's why this is great, because you can slow down a half speed, just have a bar looped. Oh, you know, it's also got the feature, of course, where we can accentuate certain frequencies. Um, you know, there's like a, a, a mid-range emphasis that you can toggle on and off. There's a bass emphasis if you're trying to learn a bass guitar part really easily. You can toggle that on and off. So it just makes it extremely efficient for learning. The pitch change is great because um, many times, you know, an artist will decide, hey, learn this song for my gig, but I'm not singing in A anymore, I'm doing it in G. Change the key and then away you go. You know, you don't have to like retune your guitar or whatever you would do to a different, you know, you could just use pitch the song and then approach it from that angle. So that's really handy. And of course, you can do fine tuning of the pitch. There's something they used to call VSO. No, no digital recorder people will know what that means. But back in the day, it was like when you, in the 70s or the 80s, you wanted your song to sound a little more exciting. They're like, it's a little draggy. Maybe we should VSO it, which is very speed. So you'd you know speed up the multi-track, and that's the way that you'd you know, mix the song. And, and so what ends up happening then is, of course, the pitch changes a little bit, gets bumped up, and you'll find many songs, like, you know, that are that are in between keys. You know, you're a half step off or something. So with Capo, you can easily bring the pitch down just a little bit so that it's actually, you know, if I'm learning a song on a standard tuned guitar, I don't have to retune my guitar. You know, I can actually tune the Capo to, uh, to match uh, 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 my guitar. So. really do anything to figure out how to use it other than just open it up, throw a song in there and start playing around for a bit. Within 20 minutes you're dialed awesome. in. Awesome. So yeah. It's very cool. Uh, you know, saying earlier how many people use iTunes or something like that to learn to learn songs and they don't know about right. you know, something like Capo, which is it's so much more efficient of course. For, for learning. And um, you know, if you're trying to learn like you know, 25 songs or something for a tour, you load them in here and you know, loop these sections and stuff like that, and be able to have all these tools really hone in on parts and just like speed up your workflow. Because I, right. I want to, I want to like maximize my time and not spend like all day learning songs.